to another video it's your girl Ajanae for those who don't know me and I post all faith beauty fashion and lifestyle videos and it is the pink gang or no way to be honest I think I'm gonna stop saying the pink gang or no way it's giving younger me your girl is embracing a new me this season it's always gonna be pink but it's not gonna be overloaded pink I'm basically kind of growing up okay I'm evolving into my inner batty woman if that makes sense whatever you know what I'm saying but what's up girl it's a new week it is monday the 13th it is 10 06 right now i'm getting ready to uh go to the gym so i already got my gym fit on i almost was not about to go to the gym not even gonna lie <laughs> i literally was about to just be like i'm chilling because like i told y'all i'm supposed to be going back to work here really soon and i just been really wanting to like literally relax and really enjoy just like chilling because I'm gonna have to really start slaving again. <laughs> Let me not say it like that. But literally that's what it feels like. But y'all, I use the Dove, which one is this one? The Dove Advanced Care, the Beauty Finish. This smells so good. So that's what I just put on. Um, and then I go in with the spray one. This one smells really good. At first I just used this alone, but I'm starting to realize not giving me enough. It's not holding as long as it usually does. So now I kind of just go in with both to really make sure I'm smelling good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grease my scalp. My scalp is looking a little dry. I can't wait to get my hair done. But um, I've been using this lately and I really like it. It's called the Lacetta Carantine Oil Weightless Smoothing Hair Serum Low Key. I'm feeling the hair serum. Like I'm feeling it like way better than like grease or like the oil. Like I like the oils, but I don't know something about the hair serums. Like they just feel so much better. Like I just love the way it feels like it's weightless. Like something about like that oil, like it gives like very heavy if that makes any sense but i'm just excited to take my hair out i get my hair done next week and i'm excited to take it out and just see what the growth looks like i just been trying my best to take good care of my hair these days really trying to let my hair grow out so i can like start wearing my natural hair here and there for those who been rocking with me from the beginning my hair was really short like it was giving some length but it wasn't giving as much length as it's giving now so i really just want to start wearing my natural hair more like i love the braids and braids really comes in handy for me because I don't really like doing my hair. I wouldn't mind dealing with it more if it just had a little bit more length. Then I could do more to it. But if we're rocking with this, this type of length, I can't do much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, I am excited to get my hair done. And my girl who does my hair, she finally just got um, her little spot. So she's in a shop again. So I'm super excited to see it. I haven't been there yet. So happy for her. I don't know why. I don't know if it's the toothpaste, but it smells like weed. Like, and I don't smoke weed. I smell like that. I need to what? I need to pluck that. Now, do y'all ever have like little chin hairs? I got four chin hairs. What? She got to go. I need to get new tweezers. <laughs> Cause I've been having these for a long time. They're not doing justice anymore. I have so many. I'm growing a beard, y'all. What? <sighs> it's like nothing's working. I need to get a new one of this because this is old. And I pray that I don't break out. <clears throat> That's not even funny. I need a new one. I need new tweezers and I need a new one of that little wash my face i don't really like washing my face before i go to the gym because i'm just gonna sweat it out anyway so normally, normally like i'll just like cleanse it at least and then i'll go work out and then i'll come back and then i'll do like my actual whole skincare i'll cleanse it do the serums and the moisturizer and all that but if i'm literally just getting ready to go sweat it all off i'm not about to do that i'm just going to do my brows do my edges and then be good i'm for real like i really like i'm getting serious about literally like taking care of myself like making like just really romanticizing my whole life like i want to anytime i step out like i at least need to have the basic my eyebrows my lashes and my hair looking decent and now like when i normally have my braids i normally usually didn't do like my edges because i just didn't feel like, like the whole purpose of me was getting my hair braided was to not do with my hair at all and that was been including doing my edges but now like like doing your edges with your braids it brings it together it looks so freaking cute even if i'm going to the gym like 
the edges gotta be done. You know what I'm saying? It makes me feel so much better. It makes me want to accomplish my day, conquer my day. Like when I feel put together from the outside and the inside, man, that does something to your day. That does something to you. That just boosts your confidence. And even if it's just the simple thing. I don't know, for the girls who can go to the gym and wear a full face of makeup, <laughs> my question is why though? Yeah, we wanna look cute and all, but is it that serious though? Because I can't do it. I can't get on that trend. I just can't. Like, I don't know how you guys are doing it, but I can't do it. <laughs> like, I sweat. Like, when I go to the gym, my purpose is to sweat. Like, yeah, I'm gonna look cute, but like I said, I'm gonna have the basics. Like, my brows, my lashes, my hair, and then the fit, literally. like that's that's all I need, literally. I do need to redo my lashes because she is lifting on the side, but who really about to be in my face like that? Nobody. Before we get ready to head out, I do want to give you guys two words of the day. So the word of the day um, for scripture, Bible, and I'm going in the Bible app, it says, if I give everything I own to the poor and even go to the stake to be burned as a marcher. I don't know what that word is but i don't love i've gotten nowhere so no matter what i say what i believe and what i do i'm bankrupt without love love never gives up love never cares more for others than for self love doesn't want what it doesn't have love doesn't strut doesn't have a swelled head doesn't force itself on others isn't always me first doesn't fly off the handle doesn't keep score of the sins of others doesn't reveal when others grovel um or is it revel i think it's revel when others grovel takes pleasure in the flowering of truth puts up with anything trust god always always looks for the best never looks back but keeps going to the end. first corinthians 13 and that was a message version i hope that makes sense but that is the word of the day amen and then i also want to give y'all a little word of affirmation the word of affirmation that we both can take and use throughout the whole day. A little pick me up word. So the affirmation of the day is work while they sleep, learn while they party, save while they spend, and live like they dream, period. Okay, couldn't say it better than that. I still gotta get baby ready. My grandma is gonna be watching him while I'm at the gym. And I told her I was gonna be there around like 10.30 and it's 10 20. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get baby ready and get ready to leave. So I'm gonna catch y'all either in the car or at the gym. Okay guys, so I am done with the gym. I already went ahead and picked up baby. I'm actually um, about to get me a smoothie from Emerald, Emerald Smoothie. So that's what I'm about to go do. I don't know why I look like I have like a freaking flight attendant outfit on. We gotta grab the baby, you guys. We gotta grab the baby, so. back at home and I just got done showering. I am comfortable. It is um, 2.31. Nutty Bananas Bomb. Um, I don't think I said what flavor I got, but I got the Nutty Banana in the bulk me up section. Why am I trying to bulk up? Not necessarily really trying to bulk up, but it's just that this one's my favorite one. But I should probably get it on the more, on the lean out section. That way it's less calories. So it hits every time. So I'm gonna get it. But I just got done doing my skincare. Oh, I love this freaking dermal roller. I'm probably, this is probably not even what it's called, but I freaking love using this thing. Like, I'm just trying to relax. Just kind of get in that peaceful zone. And when it's cold, when this is cold, it's better. I really wanted to put these on. I showed you guys me using these in my shower routine. But I think this is the last one. Yep, this is the last eye patch. If I drop this, I'm done. I will be done for the day. Put it right underneath. Self care, okay? We gotta get to the self care. You gotta make sure you are tending to your self care needs every day, whether it's something little or it's something big. It's the little things for me. 
My son just be talking. He just be he just be talking. He's just too cute. Yeah, we take this off now. I'm sleepy. <laughs> I want to go to sleep. That's what I want to do now. But I can't. I got I got a lot to do. I got a lot. Not like really a lot to do, but more like I got a lot of editing that I need to get done. And then I need to spend some quality time with God. So I kind of wanted to dig a little bit more deeper. I have this um, book where it helps you break down your Bible study times and it really gets you thinking. So I really wanted to kind of be in that today and then get into my editing because I got a lot of videos to edit. Girl, for this weekly vlog that's supposed to be going, it's supposed to go up this Wednesday. <sighs> so yeah, pray for me y'all. Pray for me, pray for me. But I'm about to enjoy my little eye patches and then I'm gonna do a little montage of me doing some Bible study and editing. And that will be it for Monday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Empty head thinks mischief is fun, but a mindful person releases. The nightmares of the wicked come true. What the good people desire, they get. The nightmares of the wicked come true. A lazy employee will give you nothing but trouble. Okay. Hey, girl, what's up? It is Wednesday, March 15th. I haven't seen y'all in like, what, a day? Cause I didn't record anything on Tuesday. Cause it's not necessarily like a weekly vlog or anything like that. More so like spend a couple days with me. So yesterday I was just really chilling. Y'all, I stayed up until five in the morning editing last week's vlog. And I'm just like, what the heck? Ajane, go to sleep. And then when I finally go to sleep and then baby boy woke me up at like the next hour crying okay crying i went ahead and tended his need and made him a bottle i'm actually doing my makeup right now because i have two interviews today and then later on i'm gonna go to my good friend's house and i'm gonna help her take out her hair she's gonna make uh some dinner she's making some salmon so your girl love her some salmon okay kind of just have like a little girls thing but it's not really just us like i'm, I'm gonna bring my baby and stuff like that but still gonna try to make the best of it at the end of the day I'm feeling real good. I just redid my lashes. They looking real good up to park. I don't know how to act. Oh my god. Okay, but anyways, let me hurry up because I might feel like I have all the time in the world. Oh guys. I'm so excited. Literally, I went ahead this morning and booked my uh class for Pilates. So we could cross that off the bucket list. Your girl's doing Pilates this Saturday at 10. It's either 10, 20 or 10, 30. And y'all, I'm so excited. Like, call me Princess Pilates, okay? But nah, I'm not gonna wear pink. I gotta find me a cute little fit because, you know, I'm, I'm gonna try to take you guys with me and catch the vibes. That must be the thing right now. That must be the trend, like Pilates. Like, I don't know who started the trend. I know Pilates has been around for a long time, but you know, when things start trending, it start getting popular. I was like, let me try this out. Let me add this to my bucket list. Also, also, baby boy has a doctor's appointment, I believe tomorrow. Then I also have therapy. Um, I think it's a little bit later though. I think it's around three. This is my first time ever doing therapy. I'm a little bit nervous. So I'm super excited about that. I can't wait to give you guys my experience on that, but I definitely highly think that we all need some type of therapy because you know, we all go through something and it's good to know that you're not alone. It's good to know that someone can help you, give you the tools, give you the support system that you need to be able to get through or heal from certain things and traumas that you went through you know I, I don't know if you guys remember but remember when I had in a couple of vlogs ago I had went to this mental health group with the mom group that I have and the lady was talking about childhood trauma and I know I mentioned that oh that wasn't for me I didn't mean it to go no I was wrong God made it very clear that no you did need to be there baby girl I needed you there I just didn't see it in that moment and ever since then I just been hearing childhood trauma childhood trauma childhood trauma keep popping up and people keep talking about it and I'm just like okay God I guess that was was meant for me because there must something that I must be still carrying on with me that happened to me in the past that I'm not realizing. I just been asking him like what is that? I know a lot of it has to do with you know not having my dad around when I was little but I also know that there's 
other things too that I just can't really think about. But we gonna see because I really want someone to really help me navigate that too. Like I may go through a certain situation where it's expected to me to cry, but I won't cry. And it's weird. Like I'm like, why am I not crying about this situation? I should be crying and I'm not. I have to like force myself to try to cry. Or I may cry, but it'll only be like a couple of tears and that's it. I am going to be doing a hygiene haul, a makeup haul. Like I'm gonna get back to the things that I was doing when I first started my channel. So if y'all have been patiently waiting for those, I appreciate you. Baby girl, she's coming back. We're getting back into those. I miss doing those, like I really do. And I know you guys are really cool with me posting anything, but that's what my channel was about. Like those things right there, doing hygiene hauls, my girly things vlogs video, clothing hauls, like all that shower routine, what's in my purse. I haven't done that since what? The year before last, since what? 2021? I haven't done that in a minute. I know you guys are probably like, dang, what happened to the original content? I'm always getting these vlogs from you. But I ain't gonna lie, I like doing vlogs i enjoy doing them i'm not gonna stop doing what i enjoy doing because some people don't like it i'm not gonna be for everybody i'm okay with that i'm okay with that i'm not gonna let people stress me out especially these people who don't know me the ones who know me the know the real me y'all want to rock with me y'all don't judge me okay y'all see me for me tip 101 for being a content creator don't let the media change you don't let the media sway you from side to side because they will try to do that they will do that my bad. Yeah, they will try to have you out here losing your mind, thinking that, you know, something's wrong with you, or you should be doing this, or you need to be doing that. No, you stick to your guns. You stick to doing what you want to do. And if they ain't rocking, then baby, they can kick rocks very kindly. They can kindly kick rocks, okay? You just, you just gotta just leave the hate comments where it's at. Don't even entertain me. I had to program my mind that way before I even started YouTube. Like, I was like, look, if you start this, you got to know, like, once you get to that point, people are going to not like you. People are going to judge you. People are going to say, you shouldn't be saying this. You shouldn't be wearing that. You shouldn't be doing that. You shouldn't be carrying your baby like that. You shouldn't be dressing your baby like that. You shouldn't be doing this. You should leave me alone. If you have a problem, why do you keep coming back? <laughs> you see that? Isn't that weird? Why do you, if you have a problem, why do you keep coming back? I don't get that. So I don't know why we be thinking we can sit over here and tell people what to do or criticize and judge people when we know we have some skeletons in our closet too. I'm gonna let that one sit there. Okay guys, so this is the outfit. It's, um, I don't know. <laughs> okay guys, so this is the outfit that I was telling you guys about. It's really cute. I love the color of it. But my thing is that like I look like a baby, you know, and it's not giving, you know. Like I said, it's cute, it's comfortable, and I feel like once I lose a little bit more weight, it will give what I need it to give. But I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I wear it or should I not? <laughs> it's so ugly. Why do they do that? Anyways, as always, your girl's about to put on her fade. Hello, guys. I'm still low-key kind of shy. It's real. Like, this is so embarrassing. Like, why even wear it if I... Why even wear it if it's going to do this to me? Right? Like, I'm getting ready to leave, so I'll catch you guys at the next destination. So. Say hey to the vlog. Hey, we cooking salmon. Yes, ma'am. And things. Smell good. You cooked that quick. You well, I put it in the oven next to Oh, okay, you ooh, look good too. And I'm gonna cut up the vegetables for the salad. Look at that, Tin Tin. You can't have none. <laughs> <laughs> Carla, you guys you stuff right now. <laughs> <laughs> give it to me, put it in the milk, huh? You don't want to give me put it in the milk. Look, look, look. Lord, prepare me for what I'm praying for right. so that way I can be able to keep it and not leave it when I have it. Or mistreat it. Exactly, or it exactly. Any type of way. Exactly. Because uh, there's been times where God has blessed me with good things and good opportunities, but I feel like I didn't keep it right or do what I was supposed to to maintain it. Yeah, like, uh, same uh, with the salad. <clears throat> it is, I believe today's Thursday. Hold on. Today's Thursday, March 16th. Today, baby had his doctor's appointment. So we are done. I'm just feeding him before I leave. Y'all, he cried when he got his shots. 
I didn't cry that much. You did so good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You did so good, my stinky butt. Yeah, I'm feeding him right now, and then after that, I'm gonna go to the mall. There's this place in there that I really want to get some food from. But yeah, I just wanted to check in with you guys today. I'll see you guys at the mall. <laughs> Okay guys, I am inside the car, back from the store. Ooh, I hope you guys can see me because it's a little bright out today and I'm loving it. I'm here for it. Yo, I'm so happy that I went to Bath and Body Works. Like for real, for real, I'm loving it. So I went with the Champagne Toast. It was a very hard decision between the Cactus Bloom and the Champagne Toast, but I think I'm going to love this and I cannot wait to light it. I also didn't record this part, but I went into icing, if you guys know that store. I went into icing and I got me a phone case y'all know i love my phone case if you don't know now you know it has like the little bedazzled trim around the um lens and then on the side it's black and it has like some gold it just was giving very grown woman classy elegant type style luxury i want that um and then i'm i've been waiting to get these for the longest and now i'm so excited so i'm about to go ahead and put this in my car right now and i went ahead and got the little car scents because the ones from autozone just do not do me justice so i am definitely gonna make sure that I stock up on these and I got a deal. I got three for six, but I think it was three for 11. Let me look at my receipt. Start printing out your receipts, girl, because you never know. Print that out so you can always get a better understanding. So $12 on the candle, $8 for the for this thing right here, and then three for 11 car fragrance. So it was three of the um, car fragrances for 11. She was making it seem like it was three for six. Girl, don't play with me. And then it says place refill in the bottom of unit. Okay. I'm gonna put it right here because I want it facing me. Ooh, she cute. I love car accessories. Anything to make my whip more enjoyable. I love her. So this is what it looks like, you guys. Is she cute? Is she giving or not? I'm thinking about at least getting just two. So one right here and then um, I'll probably play around with it, but one right here and then putting another one right here or should I just keep it with one? Is two doing the most? Because I don't want to overdo it. Never want to overdo it. She's cute for sure. I do want to hurry up and eat my food because it is seafood. So like I got like raw salmon and raw shrimp. But I'm starving and what I am going to do, I am going to test taste it for you guys real quick and i got chopsticks but i'm not about to do that right now look at that oh oh you guys probably can't let me hold on oh are we getting into that that looks so good yeah but let me just show y'all a quick little taste test okay this is what i used to get before i was pregnant with this year mm. that's good that's good. I was so mad I couldn't eat this when I was pregnant. And this is all I was craving too, and I couldn't eat it. Imagine craving something you can't have. That's torture. But this is fire. Tastes so good, make you want to slap your mama. But not literally. Don't slap your mama, but it's just a metaphor. <laughs> and then the drink, oh my God. So worth it. Mm. I'm going to turn my AC on so I can smell it. Let's see if it really works. Oh, I can smell it already and I just turned it on. That's amazing. Mm. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. She put her foot in it, girl. She put her foot in it. 
I finally figured out a way for me to download music from YouTube now. Even if it says non-copyrighted, I'm still getting copyrighted. Now I gotta delete those video or delete those um, songs. I can't use them anymore. I'm not sure how to, if it's because I'm not adding, like giving the person credit for the songs. I don't know how to do that though, if that's the case. Like if you guys know how to download the music from YouTube that people are putting out there, like R&B type stuff, and you know how to add it to your videos without getting copyrighted, even know they're non-copyrighted but you know what i'm saying like let me know down in the comments below because it's frustrating me it's frustrating me for real okay okay you guys so it is still march 16 it's 1 40 right now and my amazon package came in today so i want to open that up with you guys let me just find a little spot to set you up in i had ordered um some lashes all size 16 because i really like the size 16 better and they're pretty thick because i want them very thick this is what they look like, you guys. So I will list these ones also in my Amazon storefront so you guys can check them out. Um, so once these ones fall out, they're still intact. Last night, I slept really good with them. Um, I made sure that I kind of slept on my back this time. Oh my God, they just look so freaking good. Like, they're even more curlier than the other ones. If it's in the same place as you, you've been with the, uh, when you confirmed the appointment, it's been in the just in. Okay, let me change, let me see. Ooh, I love the peanut sauce. Mmm, so good. So good. Mmm, see that? Look. Ooh. Mm. Good morning, you guys. It is Saturday, the March, Saturday the 8th. And I am so excited because today I am heading to my Pilates class. So, and I'm taking you guys along with me. So I hope you guys are excited just as much as I am. After Pilates, says Pilates starts at 10:20. I'm literally gonna get there dang near right around that time. And then after that, I'm going to a place called Chambers Bay. It's like a little nice little walk that you do. It's gonna be really nice out. But I'm supposed to be going there with my mom group, and we're supposed to be all bringing our kids. I gotta go home grab the baby and then go straight there oh boy i'm gonna be so tired y'all i'm sorry for the terrible quality right now i'm recording this on my computer but i'm so sad because i literally had recorded me going or at least i thought i recorded me going to pilates and as i'm searching for the film it's nowhere to be found and it's not on my camera because as soon as i send over the videos to my computer i delete all the videos off my camera so I have more space, but I'm just, oh my God, you guys. I'm so mad because I was so excited to capture that experience with you guys. And I really enjoyed it. And I had, I was so sure that I really was recording the whole time, but I guess I wasn't. And I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm really sorry. I, I don't know what to do. I, I don't know what to do. So I only have a clip of me showing afterwards, basically. I'm just so mad. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys.
know, next time we should all come out here without the kiddos and have like, what are those little things that they be putting like with the little um, cheese and crackers? Oh, yeah. yeah. And then we can bring like some paint and paint. You see all the other babies?